I just came back from Walmart and I wasn't gonna do a grocery haul, but I got kind of a lot of stuff, so I was like, hmm, found some new stuff. Why not do a little grocery haul? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dominga Chaton. If you are new, my name is Dominga. And if you are returning, what is up? How you doing? Where you been? Okay, so. <laughs> I wasn't gonna wear my Air Force Dep shirt, but it was like a clean one and my other one wasn't looking so good and blue just popped, you know, I look good in the blue, Air Force blue. Okay. Don't mind the noise upstairs, my dad's doing construction. This is gonna be keto-based grocery haul or keto-ish grocery haul, let's do it. First things that I picked up were spinach. I got two, I actually really like this one, me and my dad kinda eat like these packages, packaged ones a lot. Um, and then I just got a regular bag. There's really no difference. Yeah, they're pretty much the same, but I just wanted to get two just so I have it. Really good for iron as well. I wanted to get a lot of stuff with iron. Then I got zucchini. I love zucchini literally with anything. You could put it with breakfast. If you guys are doing intermittent fasting, okay, for later on, I can put it with like eggs, make an omelet with it. Then I have a spiralizer and I can make zucchini noodles with it. My mom was putting, what was it? Little zucchini pizza. She was just putting like sauce on it and cheese. That was really good too. Then I picked up some tomatoes. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I said, I actually didn't like tomatoes when I was younger, but I kind of got myself to like them like I would eat them And I would just mentally tell myself. Mm, I like it. I like it I like it like literally a lot a lot because I wanted to like them I've done this with other foods too and then now I actually do like them And then I was like eating a whole one on Instagram if you were there, you know what I'm talking about So then I got some avocados. I have some avocados, but they're not ripe So I went and got these have you ever seen these kind of avocados? Yeah, I think I have. Have you ate them? Do they taste the same? Uh, no, that husk, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah, I think they, they used to grow on a tree in the back of our job, right? Ah, uh, see if you can see right there. Oh, shoot, I can hear the little seed in there. <gasps> Is that good? That one doesn't, but this one, I can hear the little seed going. I like pickles. These are like the spheres or no, the halves. Yeah, the halves. Uh, but I really like those. Those were all the vegetables that I got. Obviously, I eat a lot more like avocado. I'm not avocado. I love avocado. Cauliflower, broccoli. I do a lot of vegetable medleys. Like if I'm really hungry and I just know that I need something to fill me up, I do the vegetable vegetable medley bag. It's just the frozen one. I just get this one right here from um, Walmart. Oh wait. Blended. If you're strict keto, this does has these do have carrots in it, so maybe not this one, but they have different types of medleys. So kimchi is um, high in probiotics, so I got some kimchi here. This is a new brand I haven't tried. Yeah, the packaging did get me because it's really cute, so I think I still have some that I haven't finished, but we'll eat it. Kimchi, if you guys do not know, it's just fermented cabbage. People eat it, like if you go to different Asian restaurants, they'll usually have kimchi as a side. If you go to like Korean barbecue, sometimes they have it if you go get sushi, something like that, helping that gut, you know what I'm saying? Then I got some dried apricots. I don't really eat the fruits that much when I'm on strict keto because of the higher sugars and the fructose, whatever, whatever. I know you, it's a big debate, is it real sugar? I don't know. Regular old dried apricots because again, I was looking for high iron because I want to get my iron in just because like my hair, it's really good for that blood flow stuff like that the funny thing is I'm not a huge coffee drinker but I like Starbucks and I got myself to like Starbucks after I started keto because if you guys don't know there's like the fat keto fat drinks or whatever it's basically um, what is it keto bulletproof coffee where they put coffee and then they put either heavy cream or butter and it's it's really good it's really good. So if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on Starbucks going there and paying all that, they do have big Starbucks um, bottles. I mean, you could probably get like four or five out of here, depending on how much you drink, because I kind of like to fill it up. And that kind of sustains me because I try to do intermittent fasting, so I don't want to eat until later in the day. So if I do my bulletproof coffee, that's that. So this is the iced coffee. I'm not too much of a fan of hot coffee, especially now because it's so hot in the summer. It's hot. Uh, this is the medium roast and then they have a dark roast. I like the blonde roast personally. It's the least coffee 
flavor. Okay, so with that, I get heavy cream. This is heavy whipping cream. So I either get this one or there's two other heavy creams that I get. One is like all natural, organic, something, something. And then this is the Land of Lakes. And there's one other one my mom gets. But I just do the heavy cream. So I do my the coffee with the heavy cream. And then I put a sugar-free syrup or the monk fruit sweetener packet. This company has a lot of sugar-free options right there. This is Tarani. I don't if that's how you say it. And then I have a lot of sugar-free sweeteners in my house like so you can use those or something else that you find I have ketchup already but I wanted some sugar-free ketchup because if y'all like ketchup like that it's it's really high in sugar so this is the one that I got they have it at Walmart of course no sugar added so on the back it's just one carb and then less than one sugar and 10 calories for one tablespoon really good if you want I don't use it that much I kind of stopped using um, ketchup too too much when I started keto however many years ago, but now I'm like, ooh, ketchup again. Just something different. I picked this up. This is not really keto. Um, I mean, no, I guess it could be actually. Actually, I, I'm wrong. <laughs> so if you guys go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm kind of more of a wing stop girl, but I do like some of the Buffalo Wild Wings stuff. Uh, this one is the Thai curry wing sauce, but it's Walmart value, the great value. So I thought this would be good, something to try. It's 50 calories for one tablespoon, less than one carb, and zero sugar, and yeah, and five uh, grams of fat. So I definitely want to try this because I got some meat that I want to put it on. So we'll see. Okay, listen, I got three different cans of sardines. I like sardines. I'm sorry if you don't. It tastes like tuna, guys. Like it really does. I tried it maybe less than a year ago and I was like, wow, I've been jipping myself. I <laughs> it tastes like tuna just in a full fish form. And yes, you do eat the whole thing. You just eat it. You eat it all. You don't have to pull the bones out or whatever. So I got it. I got one in water. I got one in extra virgin olive oil with lemon, lightly smoked. That one sounds bomb. And then I got one in water, no salt added. It has a lot of protein in it. I like them. You guys should try them. They're not bad. It tastes like tuna to me. It tastes just like tuna. With the sardines, I did get a tuna packet. Um, this is cracked pepper and sea salt. It's just if you want to take it on the go, maybe you guys have work, you're like a shift worker and you don't have time, you can always take one of these. The best ones that I've heard are the tuna in water. So I don't know if this one is actually in water, but it's something different I wanted to try. They have the Star, star Kiss ones um, just in water. I would get those, especially if you think you don't have time to eat. Oh, I think this one comes with the Spoon, oh yeah, spork included, cool. So here's where the keto-ish part comes into play. Um, I found these at Walmart because I wanted something different. These are the low carb tortilla options. I have a whole, go on to my Instagram, there's like the food highlight section. If you go to my profile, you'll see it's like a whole bunch of stories of all the food and you'll see more of this, but I'll just show you what I got now. This is the carb counter. This is 45 calories, 15 carbs, but 11 fiber. So really four carbs, four net carbs, and then five protein. These are only 45 calories for one tortilla. I like it sometimes to make wraps or like just a quesadilla because I want it. Um, same thing with the spinach, this is spinach and herb extreme wellness. This is 50 calories. Same thing, four carbs, but five calories more. And then this one is also 50 calories, and this is five carbs. This one right here is almost like that one, but these two are five calories more, so it's not that big a deal, but uh, just different options, so I have three. And I have more, I do like Joseph's Labosh, and that's, that's another big one I like. You can see that on my Instagram story. Okay, so really quick, I had to change my camera out because this one's dying. So, I wanted to go over some new keto products that I saw and I picked up, see if I like them, if I'm interested. I'll probably actually review them either on my Instagram or on here, not sure which one. So, the first thing I got is this keto matcha. It's just a powder. I actually have tried this one before. It's pretty good. I put it with, what did I put? I think I made a smoothie bowl with this one. Um, I put some like blueberries in it and stuff, but it kind of tells you how to do it. It's 110 calories for one whole packet, 
four carbs, one sugar, one protein, and 11 fat. The next thing I got was from the same company, Harmony. Um, it's another powder. This is the turmeric golden milk with ginger and honey. It's an anti-inflammatory, healthy gut powder. So this one is 140 calories, 20 carbs, five dietary fibers, so that's really 15 net carbs, and then two proteins, seven fats. This one is less keto friendly, I would say. Um, but I've actually made this by myself without the packet. I literally used almond milk, turmeric, ginger, and what else? It was like cinnamon, I think. And so that was really good. So I might test this against my homemade one and we can see which one kind of tastes better. If you can make it homemade, that's better on your budget. And the last thing from this company that I got, this isn't sponsored unless I really like them and then you want to sponsor me. Uh, but <laughs> Harmony Protein, oh, these ones just say Harmony and this one says Harmony Proteins. Okay, do you see that? So this one is Beauty Collagen Water, Watermelon, Face, Skin, Hair, and Nails, 500 milligrams of collagen. So these are sweeteners with no color. There's six packs in here. So one pack is 20 calories and five proteins. Interesting. I really want to try this. Zero GMO, gluten-free, zero sweetener, zero color. So it's saying you can pour it into a water, into water. They're saying you just pour it into water and drink it like that. We gonna have to try this. We gonna have, to, let's open it. I haven't even, oh, okay. So they're kind of like crystal light packets like that. Okay. Only six packets. I forgot how much this was. I think it was almost five, six dollars. Really quick for drinks. I have like diet soda here. I usually don't drink soda, but it's really good when you just usually drink water or Crystal Light. So that's basically my drinks. Um, I try not to do anything with a lot of sugar or any zero, zero calorie drinks all the way. I do a lot of iced teas, water, Crystal Light, diet soda, which you can love it or hate it. It's, it's either way, but that's all for my drinks. Next things I wanted to go over was all the meat products that I bought. So first thing that I did was I got some salmon. I actually got a lot of salmon. Uh, again, I'm trying to up my iron. All natural wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. That was this one here. And they're in, I don't even know if you can see it. They're like probably about that thick. And then I also got a premium Atlantic salmon. This is the skinless fillets. I usually like skin on, but all good, all good. And they're probably about almost the same size as the other ones. This one's a little expensive, but I want to get it um, Alaskan sockeye salmon again. This is wild caught and you know, they're just the big ones that look like this. I want to eat some salmon, y'all. I think I was just hungry. <laughs> you know how they say don't go shopping when you're hungry? Well, halfway I was hungry and then the other half I was cool, but I'd already got this and put it in my basket. So another thing I got was extra thin shaved chuck steak. Um, and then on the side it says like sandwiches, tacos, stir fries, stews, and more, but it just looks like this here. I'm gonna cook this up, it's gonna be good. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna make with it, but maybe some tacos or something like that. And then, so here are the three that are a little different. Okay, so I got ground bison, not ground beef, ground bison, ground lamb. I don't know if that's gonna taste good. You think this ground lamb's gonna taste good or funky? Did you have lamb before? Yes, and that one was funky. <laughs> yeah, I had some of their bite, bite, bite. The bison? Yeah, that didn't taste good. Oh no. All right, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see. And then this is the real kicker. I got some um, beef liver because I, I think it's good for you. It is, it is really good for you. I have to put exactly why and stuff like that. Um, but I've been meaning to get some beef liver for a long time because everyone's like, you gotta get the beef liver. I just wanna cook it. I just wanna try it. I really do. I'm gonna um, cook that up, probably like do like a liver and onions type of thing or something. I'm not sure. If you know a really good way to cook liver, let me know if I wanna do it. It looks gross. I wanna try it. And that was all for my shopping haul today. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments below. If you guys know the answer to somebody's question, go ahead and reply. Just remember, take everybody's answers with a grain of salt because it is their own experiences, especially with diets and food and stuff like that. So you can do that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for coming along and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Right. Just remember, take everybody and...
There we go. Extra thin. Extra thin. I can't speak. 